most of you know that the Amber Geiger trial is going on right now. It's being streamed daily here on YouTube. And if you have not checked that out, it's actually on the station that we did an interview on WFAA out of Dallas. Well, this particular case definitely has some twists already. Some things that have came out that maybe some of you don't know about and we'd like to discuss. But let's go ahead and roll this first clip. Amber Geiger walked into a media frenzy for day one of her murder trial. The trial almost ended before it began. All right, let the DA get an interview about this trial. Defense attorneys called for a mistrial, alerting the judge to this Fox 4 interview with Dallas District Attorney John Cruzeau, which he gave under a gag order, reassuring that a charge of murder is appropriate. And I've studied what we have, and I feel comfortable that we're going forward on it. She was dumbfounded and furious, but declined the motion for a mistrial. During opening statements, prosecutors focused on Geiger's relationship and communication with her former Dallas police partner. In the last 10 minutes of Bo's life, Amber Geiger made a series of unreasonable errors and unreasonable decisions and unreasonable choices. The prosecution showed that Geiger had been sexting her former patrol partner, Officer Martin Rivera, in the hours before she shot both of Jean, sending each other pictures on Snapchat and exchanging explicit texts. On her drive home from her 13-hour day, minutes before the shooting, she was on the phone with Rivera for 16 minutes. It was during that call that prosecutors say she mistakenly parked on the garage floor above her apartment, walked past 16 units to Botham Jean's unlocked door with a distinctive red mat outside, opened the door and shot Jean. She then called 911 and sent more texts to her partner, one stating, I need you. She should have been giving 100% of her attention to that man. 100%. Should you be giving 100% of your attention to the person who's dying in front of you if you can? Yes, you should. Should you be sending text messages? No. Her defense attorneys argued that you cannot understand a person's mindset or their level of fatigue from text messages, saying that she reasonably and firmly believed Botham Jean's apartment was her own. He's yelling, hey, hey! And he's, he's 25 feet, and then he's 20 feet, and it's happening like this, and she has to make decisions. And there's this intruder, and I'm holding a gun, and why is he not stopping? The defense says that she reacted like any police officer would with a gun, confronting who she believed to be a burglary suspect. It starts to dawn on her as she approaches Mr. John's body. What a horrible, horrible mistake. The defense told jurors, most of whom are minority, that Geiger herself will take the stand. Now, you heard that she was sexting her partner right before she went into both of John's apartment. Now, as I was listening to the trial, you know, her defense was she was tired. You know, she went, maybe went to the wrong floor. She thought it was an intruder and she shot him. But as the trial was going on, from the time that she left the police station all the way to she got to the apartment complex, she was sending text messages. They were sending, um, you know, inappropriate, uh, messages to each other all the way up to the, she got to the door and she was trying to work on her particular booty call that she wanted. So her mind wasn't where it needed to be Focus on that phone and focus on this particular other cop. So they brought all that up. They had this guy asking, you know, all kinds of questions to him about, you know, after she uh, shot both of them, that she told him that she messed up. And instead of trying to assist him, she's worrying about calling him, calling this one, calling that one, instead of assisting both of them, John, worrying about her job. That's, that came out already in the trial. Amber Geiger is, is, you know, I'm pretty sure more things are going to come out that we did not know. And she says she's going to take the stand. That's going to be interesting. And I actually want to see that, but she's worrying about this guy instead of focusing on the apartment that she's at at the time. And yet you just, the first thing you do is pull out a gun and shoot them. I mean, there's nothing she could say. Oh, it's a mistake. 
I made a mistake. No, uh-uh. Because there's been anybody else there. I went to the wrong house. I made a mistake. They had been put underneath the jail. So why is she any different? So, you know, we got to keep watching this trial, find out what new twists and turns um, is coming out. And do you know that Amber Geiger had deleted all her text messages to that other cop, Rivera, and he deleted all his text messages to her. See, they were trying to hide it, but they pulled all the text messages. Cause so it let me know and let sure you should know that when you delete text messages, the cell phone company still got your text message. The same thing with YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. You can delete a whole page. They still can pull that page right back up, pull up all your posts. It's never go away when you hit the delete button. If that's really what they want to do is find out what you had going on. When the guy was being cross-examined and he was showing, you know, all those text messages, he had that look like, man, he actually got all these text messages, <laughs> you know? And, and, you know, from what I heard, I, I just need to confirm this. And I'm gonna look during the trial. I heard that r this cop Rivera was married and his wife was actually sitting there in the courtroom. So I, can you imagine that your husband is doing all this with this other female and basically you, the whole world, is hearing all that. I mean, that's messed up. That's really messed up, but we got to keep an eye on this trial. We definitely gonna keep an eye on it and follow it. And you know, we wanted to stream it here so you guys can watch it here. But you know, what we're trying to do is reach out, you know, to the station and see if we can get, you know, obtain a permission because we don't want to stream it. Then, you know, they make a complaint. Then now we lose our live stream privileges for 90 days. So, as soon as we get some sort of information from that, um, if we can do it at all, then we'll do it. If not, we'll just keep making, you know, regular reports as we're doing now. But leave me a comment. Let me know thing about the Amber Geiger trial. Uh, is there anything that you heard so far that, you know, you say, whoa, I didn't know that, or you was kind of shocked by uh, so far. But my thing is I'm waiting for her to get on the stand because I want to hear exactly what she's going to say.